everybody, it's Scott Hendrickson again with MindPlace. If you've been following my series of videos on creating spectrostrobe along with ambience tracks in my workstation, you've picked up a few techniques for syncing blocks to other content. And that's a really, really important technique in my workstation for creating a lot of powerful effects chains where a number of tracks with different settings are all linked together and you're able to globally edit them from one master track and the changes would cascade throughout all of the slave tracks. So we're going to expand on that a little bit with the spectrostrobe tracks themselves. So here we are in Mime Workstation and let's insert content my machines spectrostrobe now just looking at this menu quickly you'll see that there is a spectrostrobe and then there's an advanced spectrostrobe which breaks out the colors and breaks out the uh, channels the left and the right eye channels but to start let's just put in the basic spectrostrobe track and let's go ahead and open that for editing now we'll see that within the color selection which I like to rearrange these to be red green and blue within the um, three channels here you'll see the color selection for red green and blue and these are LEDs that are in uh, on the casino so you're able to address each one of those specifically later I'll do a video that breaks down the differences between audio strobe and spectrostrobe and go into all that for detail but right now I just want to kind of get some high level techniques out so people can benefit from that alright but looking at this we have the color selections and then we have a light flashing which is just adjusting between the two eyes if they're alternating or synchronizing um, then the waveforms and the light intensity now this implementation in its basic one if you also use neural programmer along with spectrostrobe this one's a little bit closer although hidden in the the menus a little bit um, on how you select a global color alright so let's do that so let's just go to a place here I'm around three seconds and if we right click see we get a color picker and we're able to go through and select a color again in a later video I'll go into a bit more detail of why these colors aren't quite accurate in close eye use but they are accurate in what is output from the LEDs so we'll learn to make some adjustments for that as well but let's just pick a kind of a mid-range color that uses some of the a mixture of the LEDs like this purple this light purple here alright so you can see that it gives us a mixture among the three LEDs so here it would start with all of them together and then slowly fade into a different color so we can go deeper into the track and select another color for it to morph to here we'll get kind of a midish blue green alright so we see we're getting a mix of those and so on and so forth so you're able to to pick a number of different colors that you can utilize to mix through and that's really good on this basic spectrostrobe track to give you a global color that you can morph between alright now going back out to our main session here let's go ahead and add one of the advanced spectrostrobe tracks so let's do them in order we'll add all three of them now you'll notice a warning is going to pop up that says you've already got a track are you sure you want to add it because if you stack the tracks on top of each other you're going to go beyond the uh, dynamic range the volume setting and you're likely to clip because spectrostrobe is audio so you're stacking a number of audio tracks together um, and once you have the brightness of one channel at 100 when you add an additional color channel and that's set to 100 then obviously you're clipping beyond the range so you just need to be aware of that but within this technique you'll see why that uh, we account for that so I've added the red one I'll go in and also add the green one same warning we're okay um, and finally we'll also add the blue one alright now here is what we want to do and to um, get global control of all these because if you bring these in separately 
then yes you have a lot of control over each one of the LEDs which is what you want if you're going to do any kind of advanced editing but for you to actually make a color from them uh, it's a lot more experimentation see so if you go into one of these colors let's say red I don't have the color picker option available to me or the color preview here so it's diff more difficult to take each one of these channels and try to match them to a color that you prefer so we're going to use the global channel the basic spectroscope for that so going back and looking at it again we see we've already got several nodes laid out so using the technique of syncing to other blocks as we did before we can use the main track to pick the color and it'll cascade down to these other tracks so let's sync with another block select that block select spectrostrobe spectrostrobe one here we're on the red track so we're going to select the red color channel and the range is already preset from 0 to 255 that's good and there it is let's do the same thing with the green we want to get the green color selection okay that's matched and then we'll do the same with the blue alright and this will give us all three of the LED colors as mapped on one global track now the cool thing is that what we're going to do is we're just going to mute this track alright and let these three color channel tracks although they're controlled by the master track the master tracks not actually outputting spectrostrobe it is these sub color tracks that are but we can go on and continue through with our session pick new colors get a red deeper red and go back out here and every change we make cascades out to the rest of the group so very powerful quick way to get your colors laid out that you like across a whole number of tracks and control them with a global editor where you're using essentially the color picker and getting a preview now at any time you could mute these three and just play the main track or you could mute any one of these and just get a preview of that single color but this will give us a lot of control over this single color track that we'll use in later videos in more advanced ways and we'll actually once we're near finished learn a way to um, take these values and, and essentially print them out to the track so that we can continue to use them but anyway that's a quick method for how to use basic and advanced spectrostrobe in combination with each other to get get benefit from both of those systems so I hope you learned something and have a great day